Good morning. Today we're going to work on how does rewriting a word problem make it easier for you to solve a word problem. So what are your thoughts about word problems? Um, I don't really understand them because they have too much information in them. So. Okay. And somebody else? Anybody else have any thoughts about word problems? Kimberly? Well, I know that word problems usually have a lot of extra information since it's like a word problem, so. Okay. What are some of the things we can do in order to make word problems easier? What are some strategies that you might use to make a word problem easier? Alex? Isolate the information that is used to get the actual answer. Okay. So isolate the information. Does somebody else have an idea of something you might be able to do? Megan. Like the information that's needed to solve the problem and just take out the rest of the stuff because that confuses me sometimes. Okay. Is there anything else that someone might do when they see a word problem? Asia. Well, you could read it a few times to make sure you have all the information and know what's, what it's asking you to do. Excellent. Okay. so. Alex and Megan have both said that we can go ahead and isolate the information, look to see what's important, and Asia has shared with us that you can go ahead and read it a couple of times to also see what they're asking you for. So let's go ahead and let's look at this problem up here on the board, and can I have a volunteer who can read to me the problem that you see up there on the board? So a volunteer that will read that for us, please. Your minivan has a flat rectangular space in the back that measures 5 feet by 3 feet. When you fold down the rear seats of your van and move them forward, the rectangular space in the van is increased by two feet. By how many square feet does the area of the rectangular space increase when the rear seats are folded down and moved forward? Thank you, Michaela. Excellent. All right. So can someone tell us, first of all, what are we actually trying to answer in this word problem? What's the question that we're trying to answer in the word problem? You try to answer how many square feet it, the, rectangu the rectangular thing um, increases. Okay. All right. So how many square feet are we increasing that rectangular space by? Excellent. So now let's go back and let's do what Asia mentioned before. Let's reread the problem each piece at a time and see whether or not there's any information there that's not needed. So can someone please read for us just the first sentence of that word problem? Your minivan has a flat rectangular space in the back that measures 5 feet by 3 feet. What do we need to know in that first sentence? Joey? Um, that it measures 5 by 3 feet. Okay, that it measures 5 by 3 feet. Excellent. Is there anything else in the first sentence that is, that's important for us to know? Ben? Uh, we need to know that the back was rectangular. Okay. So let's look at this. I'm going to go ahead and cross out the stuff that you both said we don't need to know. So we don't need to know that it's a minivan or that the back is flat necessarily. We do need to know that it's rectangular. That's important. And we also need to know that it measures 5 feet by 3 feet. Okay? Is there someone that can now read the second sentence for us? When you fold down the rear seats of your van and move them forward, the rectangular space in the van is increased by two feet. Looking at that sentence, what information in that sentence is necessary in order to answer the question? We need to know that it increased by two feet. Okay. So we need to know that we've increased it by two feet. So let's go up here and cross out the other information. We still know that it's rectangular, right? And we now know that it's increased by two feet. All right. Can someone read the question to us one more time? The actual question that we're trying to answer. By how many square feet does the area of the rectangular space increase when the rear seats are folded down and moved forward? OK. And what part of that question is actually the part we're trying to answer? Specifically, what part of that question? by like, how many square feet the area of the thing has increased. Okay. So we want to know how many square feet does the area increase. I would like for you to work together in your groups and with your partner 
to now take the information that's left and rewrite that word problem. Yeah, okay. So how would you start? What do you think you could do to start if you're rewriting it? Start with the main information. Okay. Like it measures by five, by three feet. Like okay. So if you were rewriting the word problem and you started off and you wanted to say it measures five feet by three feet, and what did we say that that space was that we were talking about? A rectangle. Okay, you can do that, definitely. Start off with that. If you have a space that is about is five by three feet, how many more feet is the space if its length is increased by two? Mm, that's okay, looks like we're about there. Based on the question, that's about it. So let's go ahead and see what some of you came up with. I walked around and I saw a lot of really good questions written. And I also saw some other people doing some other things that we did not talk about at the beginning, but it's an excellent strategy. So if we can start off by having uh, someone read to us their question that they've now written. Someone can share their question that they've written for the class. There is a rectangular space that measures five by three feet. If the length is increased by two feet, what would the area of the rectangle be? Excellent. Excellent. And some other thing that I want to show you is as I was walking around, I noticed that this group over here did something as well. So can someone at this table explain to the class something else you did in addition to rewriting the problem to help you solve it? We drew a picture um, of the original figure, which was 5 by 3 feet, and we drew the new one, which is 5 by 5 feet. Excellent. Okay. And once you rewrote these and you used these strategies, did it make it easier to figure out how much the space increased by? Yes. Yeah. Yes? Okay. Great. So what was the answer? How much did the space increase by? It increased 10 square feet. Excellent. It increased by 10 square feet. Perfect. Okay. So what I want you to do now is in your little um, whiteboard packet, there's another word problem down there at the bottom. And what I'd like for you to do is I'd like for you to work together and I'd like for you to use some of these strategies and read through this word problem about the supermarket and actually cross out some of the information that you do not need and then rewrite that word problem in an attempt to actually answer that problem.